Hello friends, I'm Sarah Gaston. And I'm Joe Grisaffi. And welcome to another episode of Your Mileage May Vary. Thank you for tuning in. I wanted to talk about the sudden number of auditions we've had lately. It's whack. And this is the... December of 2020, by the way, in, yes. case you're, um, yes. in case you're wondering. So we've been sitting around, sitting around for months wondering what's going to become of our careers and when things were going right. to get back on track. And right. suddenly, audition, 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 audition from our agents. And it's very exciting. Which is whack because, you know, New York and Los Angeles, the big markets, shut down. Right. And we're not here to brag about the auditions that we're getting. We want to... The point of this video is to share with you what we have done in the downtime to help us stay sharp for this moment. Yes. Now, Sarah has done countless numbers of acting videos, giving advice to new and veteran actors. But And Facebook Live every Wednesday. Yes, Facebook Live every Wednesday at 1 o'clock Central on Sarah Gaston's page. But you've been, you've been putting yourself in front of the camera. Constantly. And you've been talking in front of the camera. Well, I put myself in front of the camera doing that, mm -hmm. right? So creating content and getting really comfortable being in front of the camera. Because I'd done some videos before, but I really ramped it up. And doing the Facebook Live was a big, not a game changer. But for me, it was kind of scary to put myself out there in that way. The other thing I did is I used the downtime to um, build a voiceover demo. So I've started uh, doing voiceover gigs. I've been doing some anime stuff over at Sentai Films. That paid off pretty quickly, that too. That paid off very, very quickly. And so, um, yeah, so that, those are a few of the things I've been doing to sort of take care of the downtime right. and actually keep my skills sharp as well. And we've done these videos together. If you're yeah. following our pages, our channels, you've seen us do these videos, which, just like Sarah, being in front of the camera, hearing my own voice, continuing to, to look at the lens, look, 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 look the at barrel. the camera, yeah. it keeps your confidence up. Right. And then when the auditions pick up, you're not like, oh man, what do I do? I'm uncomfortable now. You're like ready to go. I feel more confident now than I have in years. Yeah. And yeah. it paid off. Right. I can't say what it, it was, but out of the blue, I got an audition for a major television show. Yeah. Yeah. And Sarah helped me with the first three, one audition request, but for three characters. I mm -hmm. auditioned for all three of those characters, turned it in, felt pretty good about it, mm -hmm. turned it in, erased it from my mind. A week later, I got another audition request for that same show for a fourth character. Turned it in. We, Sarah coached me, but I didn't need a reader, so she coached me after dinner that night. I went home at midnight. We're, the last video, we just talked about working late. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. I <laughs> recorded my audition at midnight, turned it in, and just a few days later, my agent in Georgia called and said, hey, your first choice for this role. Mm -hmm. And I couldn't believe what I was hearing. Yep. And I cannot wait for the opportunity to do a video with you and share you the details of Talk that day. That. Because right. that was so, so out of the blue. And I really, I realized because we had been doing all the stuff during downtime, mm -hmm. doing videos, I, be, I was reading scripts because a couple of people were interested in casting me in their film, so I had scripts to read. I was, right. I was reading scripts using the tools that you gave me mm -hmm. and your students and in your videos, how to find the, what you call the Easter eggs right. in the script. Right, how to break down the script. Yeah. yeah. So when I got this video, when I got this audition, I, was, I felt really good about what I did, but I tuned it out after I turned it in. Right. So right. this particular agent, Amber at Trinity, it's all, all the communication is via email, but if her phone name comes up on your phone, yeah. that means something's happening. Right. And when I saw her name on my phone, I, I thought of the last <laughs> thing I auditioned for, and I go, wait a no. minute, no, this can't be, and it was. Right, it right. was. It, Can I make a comment? Yes. Just listening to you talk. You know, the other thing that I think you might be discounting is that you really did the work on that audition and you've been putting in the work. Because one of the things that can happen, especially during a period like COVID, but it can happen a lot, I think, in the regional markets because there's less going on, it's really easy 
to get a little lazy and a little like, oh, another audition. When am I going to have time to film this? Because I've got all this other stuff to do. So, you know, one of the gifts of COVID for, for a lot of people has been that we're not running around all the time and going from here to here to here and just all this busyness. So we actually can take time or we choose to take the time that when you have an audition opportunity to really do the work so that you're turning in a performance. You're not just turning in like, oh, another audition. Oh, here I am with my eyes in the script the whole time. And you really did the work. Thank you. That's all. And hopefully that will stick with us, realizing right. that we had this time to do the work as actors and it's sticking so far. Yes. Oh my and gosh. how important these auditions are because yeah, you get in the regional market, it just becomes another audition. Mm -hmm. So when you do get that big one, it's just another audition. Right. Suddenly there's a dry spell and then you get a series of big ones. Right. And you actually get one of those roles, you're like, okay, wait a minute, I, this time I did the work. Right. Is that the difference? Yes. Right. Yes, it is. Absolutely. Something else, um, just talking about what we did with our downtime to prep, is there has been so much stuff that's been offered online, either free or at a nominal rate, that, um, you know, especially when COVID first hit, for people to take advantage of. Um, I am on the Groundlings mailing list because I've you know, been going through their core program. And one of the things that came up is all these webinars that you could have with people like Melissa McCarthy and Ben Falcone and Octavia Spencer and Allison Janney and like all these incredible people. And so just because people want to connect and people want to give back and you know, people want to inspire, you know, I've taken advantage of so many opportunities like that to really learn what these people did, what 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 they do, how they work. Um, you know, I've bought acting biographies and autobiographies, and um, I just did a song improv workshop through the Groundlings. I mean, obviously it was all virtual, but you know, to to think, oh well, I can't be on stage right now if you're a theater actor. There's nothing to do is crazy talk because you guys things are gearing back up and you better if you've let your saw get rusty you got to start sharpening that saw because you don't want to be you know six months out of shape so to speak when those auditions start coming your way that's exactly right this is a muscle yes and it's very easy for your mind your acting muscle to get rusty yeah and uh, i know we did a, a video early on at the start of covid about creating your own content, but we, we can we're reinforce some of those thoughts now. Right. You've done your acting videos, mm -hmm. teaching people uh, for free. Mm -hmm. You're doing this stuff for free. You don't charge anyone for your YouTube videos or your no. Facebook Live. You don't even have a tip jar, a <laughs> right. cash app, right. uh, beggar, not begging for anything. Right. You're just doing it out of the generosity of your heart, but yeah. it helps you too. Right. Because you, you, you remind yourself what you know. Absolutely. And you keep your muscle sharp by talking to the camera. Oh yeah, absolutely. I felt the same way. I started doing videos after one talking about doing them for a long time. I started doing them at COVID too. But I not only did acting videos for myself and with you, but I also did it about things I enjoy. Mm -hmm. Baseball cards and Hot Wheels and whatever I was interested in at the time. And that could just help you in your interview skills and just like your conversation skills when you go into the audition room yes. or you have to do like a taped interview. Yes, because you're talking to the camera. Mm -hmm. I'm comfortable about talking about things I enjoy. Right. Whether it's my dogs, baseball cards. It may, might sound silly to the rest of the world, but that really helped me. Right. Just talking yeah. to a camera, getting comfortable in front of the camera, or remaining comfortable in front of the camera. Well, and it can help you with commercial auditions where you're a spokesperson and you have to talk directly into the camera. Yes. Yep. And in a regional market like Houston, that's a big thing. Oh, yeah. There's it, a lot of... There, there were, hopefully there will be again, a right. lot of spokesperson jobs. Right. Spokesperson jobs in industrials where you might speak into the camera, like the, like the teleprompter job yes. you mentioned in I was video. very comfortable doing that job. Right. But I, and I was aware of the problems. Right. Exactly. But that's a different video to watch. Right. But yeah, it doesn't matter what you're doing. Get in front of the camera, read a book, learn how to read a script, read a book, learn how to take your eye off the page. There are right. things you can do to be ready that will make you sharp. It may not, it may be a while, 
but you don't want to be caught off guard when that opportunity comes your way. Right. You want to be prepared, and that's what's the, the what's the, the the famous quote or saying? Success is ninety percent preparation. No, it's ten percent luck. Whatever. You know what I'm saying. Well, there, and you've probably there's ten percent inspiration, ninety percent perspiration. Right. But but I think it's something along the lines of. of success is when preparation and opportunity meet. Something like that. But yes. Bingo. So you Go. don't want to be caught off guard. And speaking of you know getting caught off guard, so you know we all pretty much know how to use Zoom or Google Hangouts or one of these things by now. I have two students one who now lives in New York and one who lives in here in Houston, and they became very good friends through my class. And they meet on Zoom once a week and they just work on scripts together. So they just practice together. And uh, in particular, the one person who you commented because you, you watched her work in my class one night um, and you said, oh my gosh, she's gotten really, really good. Guess why? Because she works on it every week with this friend of hers who now lives in New York City also my former student, right? So even just that, getting with a friend over Zoom or over the phone and just practicing reading scripts together and talking about them and talking about, you know, all your character work. What does my character want? What are they trying to get from the other person? All that stuff matters, you guys. Just like, you know, drinking enough water or doing, you know, you, you know, you do 10 push-ups a day. Well, after a while, that's going to add up. Yeah. So, yeah. Go do push-ups. And it's free. It's free. Yeah. Doing all that stuff Sarah's talking about is free. You yes. may not you may not be working right now and you can't afford acting classes. Doesn't mean you can't practice. Absolutely. You may not be able to put Zoom meetings with your friend talking about acting on your resume under training, mm -hmm. but it'll show. Oh. It'll show when you go girl, and audition. It's true. Yeah. Okay. So that's Is that all you wanted to say? That's all I wanted to say. Just do something. Yes. Stay sharp. You may not have all the auditions right now, but we're here to say it's all picking up. Yep. In Houston, maybe not Houston, let me take that back. In Texas, Austin has Walker, Texas Ranger. Mm -hmm. Atlanta is picking up. The job I talked about that I got in November was in Atlanta. Mm -hmm. And uh, I know there's a couple, at least a couple of things in Atlanta. So things are picking up, maybe not in New York or LA, but it's happening in other parts of the country. Yeah. So be ready because it's coming had, back. I just had a huge audition yesterday for something that's like a network series and that was in Louisiana. So, yeah. and there's stuff going on in New Mexico. So mm -hmm. heck yeah, people. So it's coming back. Yeah. It's coming back and it's very exciting. So be ready. That's all we're here to say. Yes. Happy right. holidays and we'll see you maybe next year. Yes. Okay. Happy New Year and Merry Christmas and Happy Holidays if we get this up before and, Christmas. And Happy Hanukkah. Yes. And Kwanzaa. And what, all the stuff. Happy Winter Solstice. Even Xmas, if that's your thing. Yeah. So, okay. here's to a great 2021. Yeah. Thanks, guys. Bye. Bye.